this was another pretty solid episode of Blue Exorcist. Coming off of last week, we're seeing Bond's father struggle for life, and I'm questioning if they're gonna go the route of keeping him alive long enough so Bond can have his final words, but I really hope they don't keep him alive fully, because he did get stabbed through the throat there. I mean, it's just a little unbelievable. I mean, though there is like kind of like magic and demons and that, I do hope they kill him, but I would be on board if they keep him alive long enough so Bond can say his goodbyes. I'd be fine with that. But I think this was a really solid episode as pretty much Rin has been sentenced to death here. So he's trapped in this unbreakable cage that I forget the guy's name, uh, Mephesto or whatever his name is. He puts him in there. But essentially, this episode is kind of focusing on Rin wanting to give up. Him realizing, you know, it's probably best for me to die. I am just a demon. I can't control. I'm going to hurt people. It's probably better if I die. But then we see Bond and the rest go into protect him kind of or at least release him because we need his power to stop him but what's really interesting is two characters here of course we have bond though he does have anger for rin we know he was going to forgive him or at least accept him in some way it was just a matter of time but what's really interesting with him is he wasn't really pissed off that he's the son of satan he was pissed off that rin kept it to himself and shouldered the burden instead of relying on his friends and i mean it's such a bond thing you know bond is an interesting character you think he's just going to be the typical hot headed bully but he's quite different his fighting style is in melee he's all about priests and prayer but also his personality is like it does have that kind of typical trope you would expect but he's super intelligent but it's such a bond thing that he's not actually super pissed off that he's the son of satan he's pissed off that ring didn't trust him enough to tell him and i love that i love that dynamic when they're talking because everyone's just like really that's why you were upset but it's such a bond thing and i love that but then on the other side of the spectrum here, we have Shami, I believe is her name. I like how she started to trust Rin. It's, I was curious because I knew Bond would have a good way to kind of forgive Rin or come to terms with Rin. But I was hoping some of the other side characters would get something like that. And Shami has something very minor, but it's something that I love as she is the only one who's able to go inside this prison as she's the only one who didn't have hostile intent for this door so she was able to enter. And Rin is on the verge of just wanting to die. He wants to give up and give up on his life. And Shemi sees Rin. She sees like how much he's hurting and she feels pathetic because she wasn't there for her friend. She's a horrible friend and she goes in for a hug when Rin's bursting into flames and she realizes his flames aren't hot. They're warm. They're kind. They're it's compassion and love and she hugs Rin it's just such an emotional and sweet scene because you see Rin have another spark of life that he sees that his friend is not afraid of him that he's not hurting her and I loved how she came to terms with that I like how it was very subtle it was very quick but it's something that I appreciate and I'm glad at least you know Shiemi got something like that and it wasn't just Bond because I figured a lot of them would just forgive Rin because he's going to defeat this demon and I was like well I guess you know he fought against the evil I guess we can forgive him so I appreciate that she got something like that but I really also appreciate that Bond was actually pissed off for him for not actually trusting him I thought that was a really nice dynamic but the episode execution wise it's pretty well done I thought the balance of kind of the heavier stuff with Rin kind of suicidal in a lot of ways but also there was an interesting dynamic of all the characters all of them trying to come to terms of what they should do but there's one thing that's rather interesting they're all wearing these cloaks that make them invisible even to one another but Shiemi comes into this world and Rin can see her and she's wearing the cloak. How the hell does that work? I have to say, like, that makes no damn sense whatsoever, but I digress. But I thought execution-wise, like, animation-wise, I thought last week, when we were focusing on the demon, I didn't like the use of CGI there. I thought it was very plain and boring, and we do get, like, a glimpse of the king again, but I'm sure when we fully fight the king, he's going to look pretty badass. But I thought, animation-wise, it definitely was exactly what I would expect with Blue Exorcist. It didn't really dip in quality. I didn't notice anything in particular that really dipped, and I also thought, because there was a couple of scenes, I thought, that were actually pretty high animation wise especially when Rin was in the prison the flames were going crazy there was a nice use of lighting and things like that but actually I thought all the character models like facial expressions nothing really seemed to dip this episode and if it did it had to have been for a very brief second because I didn't notice this but I'm really interested to see Rin's release now because I'm expecting at least the next few episodes possibly to be this fight because I think this is 12 episodes 12 or 13 so I'm interested if this is going to be quite a long fight or if there's going to be 
trouble getting up to that fight. Like, maybe there's going to be something that stalled. Maybe Rin will have to fight someone to get to the king. As I'm questioning where they're going to go with the rest of this arc, because we do have the fight. We're going to fight this demon with everyone. But I'm expecting a pretty big fight. If it's only going to be an episode, it would be a little lackluster if this is just like an episode or two fight. I would like a few episodes for this fight, because this is such a menacing force and everyone's going against them. I would like to see something like that. But I'm just really glad Blue Exorcist is getting back and is staying at the quality that I loved with the first season. You know, this has just been a really entertaining stretch after that third episode, because the first few episodes, there weren't anything spectacular. It was a lot of I don't trust Rin, but I'm glad that this is what I liked with the filler stuff in season one, is when they didn't trust Rin, there was still an objective. And we kind of were padding around that for a while, and I think those first few episodes could have been merged into one, one and a half. And I'm really liking now how everything's set up. I'm expecting some feels are going to be happening pretty soon with Bon and his father. There's a lot of nice growth with the side characters but also Rin himself I like seeing Rin in a state of also just kind of wanting death realizing that maybe it is best for him to go out but because of Shami he realized he still has a reason to live kind of a thing so this episode was actually really good I think it was one of the better episodes of the season so far and I'm really excited for next week's episode but I'd be interested to hear what people are thinking with this in terms of the adaptation wise you enjoying the adaptation but also how long do you think this fight is going to be because I'm really hoping it's going to be a few episodes here I'd be interested here so let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and before you leave hit that like button if you did enjoy the video if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe so until next time everyone please take care and have a good one